Elizabeth, why have we come here? I don't want Carolyn buried next to Angelique. You can understand that, can't you? Yes. She should be buried in the cemetery with her husband. No. She's a Collins. She belongs here. Her ancestors are buried here. Oh, well, I'm certainly not going to argue with you. If it's settled, let's go back to Collingwood. No, not yet. Elizabeth. We have other things to do. In heaven's name, what? If you don't want to do them with me, Roger, I will do them alone. I don't know what you're talking about. You will, Roger. You will. to bring you half alive so that Angelique cannot function. Even though she's not directly responsible for Carolyn's death, everything that happens in that house is because of her. Yet, if you rise, if you talk, Angelique will die. She told me that, and then Quentin will be trapped. I must be careful. Very careful not to go too far. Elizabeth, it is extremely masochistic of you to even be here. No. Why are we here? What do you expect to find? The name of her murderer, Evangelique's. Carol wrote what she knew and how she knew it. I think your loyalty to Quentin under any other circumstances would be commendable. Carolyn wrote that it was Quentin. I'll believe it. I don't need any written proof. Quentin isn't the only suspect. Who else? Trask. The police haven't been able to find him. Trask is such a coward. Cowards kill. And Barnabas, what about him? Barnabas wasn't here when Angelique was killed. Her handwriting. She never finished it. What? If anything happens to me, it is because he knows that I have the proof. She meant to tell us. Well, you found what you came for. Now let's go back. Yes. This brought Adam and Eve alive. Perhaps I'm taking too much of a chance with her. If Barnabas were only here. But he is not, and I must do what I think best. I said the 
dials correctly. She must be barely conscious, that is all. Am I taking too much of a risk? No, I must do it. Why didn't it work? Alexis said Stokes used both science and black magic. I must find out what that black magic was. Elizabeth, of course it's a shock to you, but you, it can't be unexpected, I tried to tell you. If I hadn't seen those gloves. Hoffman, did you see the police leaving? Uh, no, I, was it Mr. Stokes? Miss Alexis asked me to tell him. He was very fond of Mr. and Mrs. Loomis. They found the weapon of the murderer. Where? A knife, on the grounds near the cottage. But more incriminating, they found the gloves that he wore. They were Quentin's gloves. Mrs. Stoddard had given them to him last Christmas. Mrs. Stoddard, someone else might have worn them. It was Quentin. Even I believe that now. Are the police searching the grounds again? This time, they don't think that he'll be around. He better not. But if I find him... Oh, he must be caught. He must. I knew I would find you again, didn't you, Roxanne? I soon realized how foolish I was to let you go. Roxanne? What's happened to you? Why don't you speak to me? You're not able to speak. What has Stokes done to you? And why has he brought you here, to this house? And where is he? 
Roxanne, look at me. I am Claude Nord. There must be some way I can get through to you. Surely you remember this. Look at it, Roxanne. And speak to me. You do remember it, don't you? Remember it. But that's all. It no longer has the effect on you it once had. Whatever Stokes has done can be undone. I will find a way, Roxanne. Mrs. Stollard is under heavy sedation and she can't be disturbed. Yes, I know, Inspector. Have you had any progress? I see. Yes, I'll have Mrs. Stollard call you. I thought you were staying with Mrs. Stoddard. Oh, Roger's with her. I, I have to call Mr. Stokes. Stokes, why? Alexis is in another seizure. Where is she? She's up in her room. She's lying on the bed, barely conscious. Well, I wanted to call a doctor, but she insists upon seeing her father. When did this happen? Just a few minutes ago. I was talking to her, and she seemed perfectly fine, and then suddenly she collapsed. Barnabas, where are you going? To the Loomer's house. I thought you were going to stay here. I, I am, but there's something that I have to attend to. It's very urgent. Uh, don't worry, I'll be back. Keep looking at me, Roxanne. My eyes have the power to restore you to me. If you will it. Keep looking into my eyes. And come back to me, Roxanne. Keep looking into my eyes. And come back to me. You've never resisted me before. What has been done to you? Stokes were here, I'd kill him with my bare hands. I'm taking you away from this place. I don't care about the deal I made with Stokes. I'll return his money to him. Tell him the truth. I can't live without you. Take my hand, Roxanne. And come with me. Someone's coming. Roxanne, I must hide. And you must do nothing to reveal my presence here. Do you understand? What are you doing up here? How did you get up here? Someone's been here. Roxanne, was it was it Claude North? Have you seen him? Roxanne. Do you know where he went? Come, I'll take you downstairs. Thank you. 
I'll come back for you, Roxanne. I'll come back. Buffy, it's Barnabas Collins. I want you to do something for me. I'm bringing someone over to your room. Someone who's in danger. You've got to keep her there. Yes. Yes, I'm leaving right away. Answer me. Quentin? Quentin, is that you? 